2 Timothy 2 2. Listen to these words. My words and my action must be entrusted to the reliable people who are qualified to teach others. Wow. Jesus is saying loudly and clearly, in order to be able to teach the words that I teach, you must be qualified. And how must we be qualified to tell others what they should be doing? We should, first of all, be doing it ourselves. There's an old adage among educators. Students don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. I think that's true with our families, our children, those that are around us in our workplace. All the words lose their meaning if we fail to live those words. In other words, if you're going to preach a sermon, you need to live what you preach. Here's a gift that keeps on giving. Our players and our children hear our words like honesty, trustworthiness, accountability, and the importance of a work ethic but they must see all of those in our lives. Here's a poem that I learned years and years ago that resonates so well with all of us as teachers and coaches. Take these words to heart. I want to do just a portion of the poem for you. Edgar A. Guest, a terrific poet, penned these words. I'd rather see a sermon than hear one any day. I'd rather one would walk with me than merely show the way. The eyes of better pupil and more willing than the ear. Fine counsel is confusing, but examples always clear. And the best of all the preachers are the men who live their creed. For to see good put into action is what everybody needs. Others will develop very much on what they see. Many develop on what they hear, but to be able to hear the positive, the good way, that aspect of being a person that is willing to work to achieve with honesty and integrity, and then see it lived out in the lives of those they respect is extraordinary. You are respected as a coach. Live what you preach.